Alright, this is going to be a short little clip of me showing the capes on Assassin's Creed 2 for the PS3. The descriptions I will also show, so if you want you can pause the video and read through and kind of get a description of the cape. I'm not going to bother doing that because that's just a lot of extra talking when I don't need to. But that's the plain cape. That's what you start with. the Medikai cape which is good for Florence and what these do is make it a little easier to travel around the game because you don't build up a suspicion as much your little meter that you see up there in the left by the by your health bar up there your, that keeps track of your notoriety level and with the capes on in the right areas, you don't increase your notoriety level very fast unless you do something dumb like kill a guard or kill a, a civilian right in front of the guard, you know, that kind of thing. But otherwise, you're a little bit more free to climb and kind of explore and run around where in the first game you had to walk real slow. And definitely a big improvement over that. Unless, of course, you are wearing this last cape that I'm going to show you here. Which would be the auditory cape. And you actually get a trophy for wearing this everywhere in the game. And when you wear it, as you can read there, it makes your notoriety level full. So no matter what you do, the guards will always attack you on sight and be really suspicious of you. And when you get tired of doing that, you can just go back to one of your other capes and your notoriety level will kind of go back to the way it was. But that's probably the best looking cape of all of them. And it makes for some fun gameplay towards the end of the game when you really don't have any missions or anything left to do. Just kind of fun to run around in. And there you go, Ilias. There is the capes of Assassin's Creed 2. I hope you enjoyed.